This is Sarah or Waterlily716 and today I'm going to make a video with three ribbon hairstyles. Ribbons! So they're three updos and they're pretty simple um, but the last time I made a video about my quick ringlet ponytail um, and in there I had a little bow on one of my pictures of a look. Um, and yeah someone requested it. So. I thought I would just do three ribbon looks because ribbons are really fun hair accessories. Um, and a lot of these hairstyles you can make them work for half up or um, down, but I'm just going to do them as updos. And also I look really like tan slash yellow in this lighting. I'm not really this yellow, but just anyways. Um, so first of all, you can find ribbons at any craft store or like Walmart, which has a pretty, pretty decent craft section. Um, also has ribbons. These are just, I don't really go out and buy a lot of ribbons, but for some reason I just have a lot. Um, some of them are long, some of them are short. There's the shiny kind of ribbon. It's like ribbon basics. There's the really shiny kind. And then there's grass grain ribbon, which has little ridges on it. This, this ribbon is pretty. Got it at Walmart. And, oh, another thing I like to do with my ribbons is when I get them is I like to cut them um, and sometimes I cut them with little um, like snake chunks at the end or a pointy end so it looks like they fit together that's just a cute little thing yeah. first I'll do the perfect bow I guess and I'm just gonna put my hair in a side ponytail so y'all or actually a ponytail wherever you want um, the way I usually wear this I have the ponytail like in the square of the back of my head, but it also looks cute on a side ponytail, and I think it looks really pretty on a half up hairstyle. But yeah, this yeah. piece of ribbon is approximately 20 inches long, um, so that's a good inch if you want something to tie around a ponytail. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your ribbon, make sure both ends are the same length, then you're gonna tie, you're gonna twist them like you're starting to tie your shoes um, and make sure it just covers the hairband. Easy. Then you're gonna take a ribbon and this is you're gonna make two loops or two bunny ears. You're gonna cross one bunny ear over the other. It doesn't really matter which. And you're gonna pull it tight. Then what you wanna do is just fix everything up um, sorry if you guys can't really see. Um, but yeah, you're just gonna tighten it a little bit, tug at it, um, make sure everything's in the right place, and then you have it a perfect bow. The key to this is doing it this way of tying a bow, um, and not the way where you make one loop and you twist the other one around. But yeah, this way you got a perfect bow. You'll see that like you have the little strip of ribbon in the middle and two bows sticking out. And yeah, it's really cute. Okay, the next one I'm going to do is the like Grace and the Spiro ribbon tutorial. And you want a really long piece of ribbon for this. I also think this looks almost better with like a skinnier piece of ribbon. But I don't have one that long. Uh, this piece of ribbon I have is about 46 inches long. You want it to be long enough to wrap around your head twice and then ooh, and then tie a knot. So what you're going to do is you're going to start off with your hair in the side ponytail again. This would also look really pretty if you put your hair into a bun. Um, but what you're going to do is pretend like you're just making a headband with ribbons, which is also really cute. Um, making a headband with your ribbon strapped across the top. And then you're going to have these when you twist like... You also want to twist the ends over each other in the back of your head. And you're going to pull one end um, and bring the other end over um, the top of your head. Then you want to tie the two ends together. I'm just going to do a square knot. Right over left, left over right makes the knot good and tight. 
to do a square knot, then you want to pull the ribbons apart from each other so there's some hair in between. And that's it. I'm going to mess with my bangs a little. Yeah, so that's it. I think it's really pretty and a romantic hairstyle, and you could definitely wear this to a dressier occasion if you had ribbon that like mastered, matched your dress or whatever. Um, but yeah, it does look, it looks really good with curly hair, but you could always, you can do any of these looks with straight hair or whatever, but yeah. The last thing I'm going to do is a ribbon braid. Braid, you need, um, a length of ribbon. Folded in half is a, like a couple inches longer than your hair. Um, cause what you're going to, and you'll see why in a second. So the way you start out a ribbon braid is you take your ribbon and tie it around the base. Make sure it's covering your hair tie because or else your hair tie is going to show in the lining coat. Then you're going to put the two ribbons together, separate two, your hair into two sections, and then you're going to braid and just pretend that the ribbon's a section of hair. Okay, once you get to the end, you want to tie this off with a hair tie. Hair ties. Thing. Like so. Okay, then this is a little lopsided looking for some reason, so I'm just going to fix it. Then if you have enough ribbon left, I go ahead and take it and wrap it around the base where the hair tie is. I'm literally going to wrap it and tuck it in. Um, yeah. But I also have a little ribbon sticking out, which is cute. So yeah, that's the ribbon braid. So yeah, I hope you guys liked these three ribbon looks. Um, and yeah, if you have any more stuff that you do with ribbon that's kind of funky, leave it below in the comments. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye!